petroleum formation. When uh, you go for petroleum formation, you will have diagenesis and catagenesis. So, diagenesis means like uh, around 500 degrees centigrade H, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur got removed, got removed. Okay, hydrogen certain uh, an amount of hydrogen will still be there, but um, uh, the total amount will be re reduced. And if you go for catagenesis, so 60 to 200 degrees centigrade temperature, the transformation or change will occur. So, this will be thermal degradation occurring, thermal degradation, thermal degradation will be occurring, reaction double bond uh, reduces, double bond, double bond like carbon double bond, this will be reduces, uh, reduces and okay. So, plant and element dies, this sink settle on the seabed and finally, one layer another layer will be deposited on seabed. So, decomposition will be occurring million of years. So, millions decomposition decompo decomposition will occur million of years and this decomposition helps helped by bacteria okay so diagenesis uh, catagenesis how this works it will be like this diagenesis catagenesis. Okay. So, initially you take lignin, lignin carbohydrate, carbohydrate, petroleum, uh, protein, protein uh, then you have lipid, okay. then microbial degradation, microbial degradation, microbial degradation will be happening, polymerization will be happening, polymerization will be happening and then you are reaching to kerogen. So, kerogen, so that time you are getting bitumen. Okay. So, kerogen here thermal degradation happening, catagenesis happening, thermal degradation. Thermal degradation happening, cracking. Okay. So, further if you go, then gas formation, gas formation will be there. Okay. So, uh, when thermal degradation happened, here you are getting heavy crude, okay. heavy crude, heavy crude you are getting light oil, light oil you are getting. So, different crude oil you are getting after kerogen st steps. So, first step in diagenesis is happening, so diagenesis micro degradation happening, temperature pressure you are giving and thermal cracking will happen in catagenesis stage and then you are getting gas formation. If you go further with time and temperature, then maybe you can get diamond also. Okay. Natural gas, when you are talking about natural gas, it is odorless actually, odorless. Okay. But uh, whenever you have gas cylinder at your home, so that contains certain amount of smell. So that is actually added flavor, uh, added smell. So that is called marcaptant, mar tributyl. Mercaptant or isopropyl isopropyl uh, mercaptant. So, these are added order actually, 
later uh, people adds so that for safety purpose. So typically the composition will be like CH4 70 to 90 percent, C2H6 will be C3H8, C4H10. So about this sort of thing, 0 to 20 percent. Okay, so carbon dioxide also possible. CO2 like 0 to 8 percent, and O2 will be 0 0.02 percent. Nitrogen can be 0 to 5 percent, and H2S can be there. So H2S is 0 to 5 percent. So that is dangerous actually if you have H2S, and when you are burning. Uh, methane. So, so chemical reaction will be like this: CH4 plus O2. It, uh, it will give CO2 plus 2H2O plus energy. So you can get huge amount of energy there. Principally, CH4 with some ethene and propene, also uh, and impurities such as CO2, H2S, N2 will be there in natural gas. So uh, then what we learn first you get uh, microorganism or animals everything got deposited in seabed covered by sand and other rocks then with time it got changed. Then exploration engineers like geophysics, geoscientists they will go and they will explore whether oil and gas is there or not. So this is exploration phase finding uh, oil and gas how much, how much amount will be there the exploration engineers will be finding. See if they find it is very much economical and you get huge amount. Uh, so then drilling engineers will go. So drilling engineer will be drilling a hole. Okay, they will be drilling a well bore from earth surface. Okay. When they are drilling, so they will get oil and gas. Okay, so oil and gas will come. So oil and gas when it is coming to the surface, actually it contains sand, it contains water, it contains uh, other gases also. Then you have to handle the things properly. You, you cannot get uncontrolled way. So the things must be controlled using completion stage. So completion stage they will be putting like sand control system, sand control system, perforations etc. will be done during completion stage. So after drilling you complete a well bore so that it will be ready for production. So once completion done well bore is safe then you hand over the well bore to production engineer. Okay. So, production engineer will be stable production they will get, uh, production, S stable production means with time the productivity will not change actually. So, we are getting longer duration a certain amount of production with no difficulty. Then there will be separation. So, once you got production on the surface, okay, you got oil and gas, oil and gas. then. You, you cannot send that same oil and gas to your customer. So what you have to do? You have to separate oil and gas. So separation stage, what will do? Oil, uh, gas, oil, water, sand. Okay. There will be certain mechanism to separate all this gas, oil, water, gas, uh, water and sand. Uh, so that mechanism I'll discuss in the whole course actually. Then once you got separated gas, oil, water, sand, then gas can go through gas pipeline, oil you may have oil pipeline, pipeline, tanker okay. and water if you are getting water you have to dispose there because water is not economical anyway and if you have sand, sand also you can dispose there but disposing water and sand is not so easy to us because you have to remove all the hydrocarbons or you have to make certain mechanisms so that it will not be harming your aquifer zone where trees or other your drinking water zone will be there. So that we will discuss later how to handle water and sand. Once pipeline tanker again will be reaching to your refineries like Jamnagar refineries there for example, Jamnagar one oil refinery is there. So many other oil refinery will be there in India 
so the or uh, outside india so in india if you see this uh, they will take fluid or crude oil the crude oil will go to refinery the refinery they will be producing diesel petrol gas uh, diesel petrol kerosene and other fluids and other other fluids okay uh, the ons diesel petrol kerosene done then it will go to customer okay so several stages are there when you are getting oil and gas so drill then you complete well bow then you produce you get on the surface when you got on surface you have to separate properly oil gas water sand on separation done oil you send to uh, refineries gas you send to customer uh, big marketing agency will be there they will take for example this uh, hindustan petroleum or in indian oil they will be taking from your uh, ongc and other companies and they will be sending to your customer right and then customer will get diesel petrol kerosene separately okay when the customer is getting this fluid diesel kerosene petrol they will not take sand they will not take water in uh, petrol so so the refinery people and those separation people they will be ensuring that things are correct like no sand uh, sedimentation no water particle is there so that your combustion will be proper burning when you are putting petrol in to, into your car combustion is proper there will be no uh, unnecessary chemicals in the fluid 